This is Joy of Heaven, Saint of the Day for August 25th, as we celebrate the Feast of Saint Louis Day. Saint Louis King of France lived and reigned in the 1200s. He is the only French king who has been canonized a saint. His reign was viewed as a golden age in medieval times. He worked to bring about many reforms in society and was deeply committed to holiness. Saint Louis King of France was born in 1214 in Poissy, France. When Louis was 12 years old, his father died. Though Louis then became king, his mother ruled in his place as regent until he came of age. Louis's mother was a holy woman who brought him up in the faith. She also ensured that he received a proper education in government, Latin, military arts, writing, and public speaking so that he could rule well as king. When Louis came of age and began to rule himself, he continued to rely on his mother as an advisor. In 1234, Louis married a woman named Margaret, who was the daughter of a count and was very virtuous. Louis and Margaret had a happy and holy marriage. They had 11 children, though two of them died as infants. During his reign, Louis dealt with many political conflicts and wars. Other rulers of the time viewed him with high esteem, as he worked to bring France to new economic and political heights. His fairness and his holiness were widely recognized by his peers. Many rulers selected him as arbiter to assist in solving their quarrels. He also brought about many reforms in France's justice system. He banned trial by ordeal, in which accused people were subjected to pain or unpleasant circumstances to determine guilt or innocence. He originated the presumption of innocence, and he created bailiffs and provosts. Louis also patronized the arts. While he was king, many advances were made in architecture and Gothic art. He also built the beautiful Saint Chapelle in the royal palace. Louis was deeply devoted to his Catholic faith. He saw his role as king as a lieutenant of God on earth. He tried to direct all that he did for God's glory and the good of his subjects. He practiced severe penances and did all he could to care for the poor. He often fed beggars from his own table and washed their feet. He also cared for lepers and established hospitals, as well as houses for reformed prostitutes and blind men. Louis also paid a great sum of money to another ruler in order to obtain and protect what were believed to be relics of the true cross and crown of thorns. While praying for recovery from a serious sickness, Louis made a vow to lead a crusade. In 1238, Louis led the Seventh Crusade and was captured by the Moslems. He was freed when a truce was declared. In 1267, Louis and his three sons fought in the Eighth Crusade, but he contracted dysentery in the camp in 1270 and died. Saint Louis King of France's Feast Day, August 25th. Saint Louis King of France is the patron saint of tertiaries. You can ask him to pray for you if you are a tertiary or if you are discerning becoming a tertiary. You can also ask him to pray for someone you know who is a tertiary or who is discerning becoming a tertiary. Saint Louis King of France is also a good saint to seek prayers from on behalf of a temporal ruler, since he was a very holy temporal ruler who did a lot of good for his people. Thank you.